Hi, in this video I'll give you a short tip on how you can use Postman to uh, simplify some of your work. So, at the client plot direct we did have a challenge where we needed to call a web service a number of times, so a web service could be like the following. We have here we need to call with a username and an age, and then we'll get a response back. And we found that we needed to call that a hundred plus times, and it is obviously okay to go around and do this, but sometime you want to automate this process and uh, we found it was really simple. So first off is we will need to change these to user to variables and the same for our age. So that's all we need to do and then we will add have added it to this collection here. Then another thing we did was we created a CSV file with the user and the age. You can also create it as an array, uh, a JSON array if you got the data, data, data in JSON. Uh, the thing is that the, the values you have here need to correspond to the variables inside of the, the, the proxy. Then what you do is you, now you have created it, you add it to the, the collection. Then you select here create runner and the runner is something that enables you to run this really simple. And here we will then select this demo runner we have. We have the, 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 the API that we have and we can deselect which one we want to do. We can obviously select if we want to use any specific environments for it. Uh, we can then select the file and here we have select our JSON file and our CSV file. You can select what type it is and then you can use the preview and here you can see what kind of data we have in it and it's really simple to do that. Then all you need to do is select how many iterations you have and from here you can see how many it is and I guess it just selects the number of items you have here in the list and let's for the, the purpose just also save the response that makes it a little easier to trigger and understand what goes on and then we can just say run our collection and this will then run it and you have the option to set up uh, that it needs to pause for a number of times and here we can look take a look at the bodies we can see it says just hello world <laughs> we can see we get the data here and if we go to the mockable service that I created for this uh, I love Muggable for creating some simple web services to, to test what I've been seeing. And request logs. The only thing is you just need to understand what, uh, which values you need to select. And now we can see we created a few seconds ago. We can expand here. And then we can see we uploaded a value called Martin and an age of 50, which hopefully corresponds to our CSV file here we have Martin. So this greatly simplifies if you want to call an APM multiple times that means that you do not need to create specific scripts or bash scripts to call with vget or anything like that. This uh, approach about using a runner really simplifies this process and obviously you can add tests and a lot of other features into this so you can see if it responds correctly with with your uh, wanting data but yeah good tool for for handling these things and i guess all integration developers would have postman installed otherwise you need to find some other tool that can do some of the same things so i hope you like this video just uh, hit hit the like button hit the subscribe button and uh, yeah thanks